Good evening, my name's Alex Campbell. And that's Jasper Moy. <laughs> and my name's Stephen going, Wilson. <laughs> and we're doing and we're I'm doing going, a review I'm show. Going, you going, that's what I was waiting for. <laughs> and you're watching the ninth episode of Dissecting Vikings. So we've got the finale, which we've been building up to for an entire season, right? We've put our pieces in place, we've uh, dragged all our characters back to put them back in for this big ass civil war, and, you know, whatever, I've already said all my crap about that. So, you know, we open up with uh, with an atmospheric scene and we've got Houghton and he starts singing, and then yeah. we've got Harold and he starts singing, you have the duality between the two brothers. Mm. I mean, it's nice, it's a nice scene and it's a bit atmospheric and cool. Mm. It's the old Viking, like Norse sounding music, but I feel like he'd have to be screaming at the top of his lungs for him to hear it across the valley. <laughs> It was you a know, field that was also well, a valley that was also a forest well, that was also a tundra. A valley can lead into a field. Yeah, well, yeah, they were in and like, I, they were in yeah, a I position. Just, I feel, well, no, I feel like the position they were in was never established. Like, they never, they have not established, they did not establish a topography of the landscape that they fought the valley They were in a forest with a big empty field in the middle. A battlefield, if you will. Well, how come, how come from all the shots from the battlefield looking out at the horizon, you could just see mountains and more field? There was no forest. Was the forest not on the mountains? No, there wasn't. Um, there was a lot of weird shit in this episode mm. which made like no physical or literal or realistic sense. And I, I found it hard whether to analyze it in that way or just in the uber stylized point because yeah. it gets to the point where like Lath is having a conversation with Astrid <laughs> on the field but it's not it's not actually literally happening on the field but is it yes she was because she she uh, she at least was able to convey the information that she was it was half and half yeah but you could argue because at that point like the other warriors weren't even the shots it was just the two of them on the field talking to each other there's no use, Lagitha. So I, I looked at that and I thought the singing was really cool and I thought that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, well, you've got a moment where you go, oh yeah, this is cool, but oh... Yeah, right. yeah. But, but then, so what should you judge it on? The amount of realism or... Well, that's a decision that you have to make, right? This, yeah, this I guess. One of those no, I, and I think the three of us lie on different points for that. Well, yeah, well I, I think... It's yeah, I, 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 my point would be completely different. It's not whether or not it's realistic, the problem for me is, is that by far it's the, the 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 that sort of surrealistic artsy stylism of mm. the of the episode was solely and wholly focused on the interpersonal relationships yeah. that I don't care about. Okay. And yeah, well, so that was the problem. It's like it some of the shots were really cool mm. and some of it was really artsy and like fun to watch, but I didn't care yeah. about what well, was happening. Well at, at this point at this point, the whole thing has been a character study about these people. And I've become invested in them and interested in their stories. And oh. it wasn't about the battle by the end. Um, I think I've... Well, it had nothing to do with the battle. Well, no, uh, it was uh, about the characters' interplay and their relationships. I think I would go halfway on both those points. Mm. I think that it hasn't only been a character study and, and we definitely, like, the whole point of the Civil War was to drag back to a bunch of political intrigue. Why would Rolo send soldiers to fight for Vitzer? Can I have them? I don't know. Yeah, well, my point is, at this point, I think this whole episode was about the characters rather than the battle. Oh, I, 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 I think yeah. that you wanted more battle? Well, I, okay, so the, all of the characters are dishonest, fucking mm. conniving assholes. And the only no, like, not the only, not no, no, the only, not the only, only not like a, let, me finish, so. one, let me finish. The only likable the only likable characters are either inconsequential, incompetent, or psychopaths. 
Well, no, so yeah, it depends on your def definition of likeable. I mean, like, I liked bloody Harold Fine. Yeah, I like Harold. I like yeah, he's, he, and he's, the, he's, by and large, he's either incompetent or inconsequential. Well, no, no he's just an average Joe. Like, he's not he's, exactly. He's, he's not inconsequential. What, 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 what achievement, like, what, what plan has he put in place that has actually worked out for the guy? He, he just wiped the category. He just wiped the no, he with, yes, yes, he, he did. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. They yeah, they just Rollo had just took Kattegat. Why yeah. he allied with someone Rollo else? Rollo just he, took He Kattegat. allied with he someone else. He has almost nothing. His army is right, right, right. sent. All right. He, so, he aligned with Ivar on yes. his side. So, and Ivar, Ivar was able to use up his army, and now Rollo's just rolled in and taken Kattegat. Rollo's just rolled in. Yes. Yeah, you can't say the uh, Harold Finehair is inconsequential. He's been one of the main driving forces. He's been half of the driving force. His character has been the driving force of the narrative. Yes, his character, and that's why he's likable, because he's charismatic. But he himself, the position that he has played in the story, has either been at one of incompetence or one of being relatively inconsequential mm -hmm. to what's actually uh, happening. No, 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 so you're, you're oversimplifying the character. You're, stare, you're, you're just fitting him in a box with his most glaring like things that you object so. to. I don't think well, so. Well, no. To I say, like the guy and I like the character. No, no, but, 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 but that's what I'm saying. To say, oh, well, he, uh, the, for the most part, he has been inconsequential or incompetent is not true. He's a multifaceted character. Sure, one of his glaring flaws is incompetence. Sure. Right, but I'd that's say more naivety. But 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 politics. also, but also, don't forget that that's all in stark contrast to like Ivar and all those other very plotting, very um, conniving people. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. Like, okay, if that, if so that... is another one that are, is another one of the likable characters, but he's a psychopath. Of course, I'm going to kill her. No, 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 no. You just said that most of them aren't likable. Which means not all of them, yes. No, no, most. So, all right, so, all right, all right, right, all right. Yes. All right, all right. Which characters do you not personally like? Because I think I like most of them. You think you like most of them? Which characters do you not like? Um, okay, so I would say I like um, Harold. Yeah. It'd be easier to list the ones that I like than ones that I dislike. Okay. Yeah, well that's what right. I So I like Harold. Oh, okay. I yeah. like I like um I like Bjorn. I like Ivar. I like um Floki. Okay. okay. But like like so just 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 as a just as an example, take Floki, right? Mm. Floki's whole thing, he's a really cool character and I really like Floki, but he's mm. got this whole story arc with all of these other characters. I don't think any of us like any of the other characters involved in that story. Yeah, I, I'd agree. It's like, it's like they feel rushed and two-dimensional. You sound like a dog. So that's what I'm going to call you. Bull the dog. <laughs> Lagatha, which we all universally dislike. Mm. You've got fucking... Um, uh, oh, Astrid's not there anymore. I You've like got Astrid, though. Yeah, I like Bjorn's Astrid. wife. Uh, no, I didn't have no. her. Okay, so then you've got um, fucking what's his face? His wife that wants to get rid of Lagatha. But also, like, but do you like no, her? No, 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 no. no, no, no I, I, I really like her arc and what's happening. No, with but do you like her? Then no, that doesn't matter. No, it doesn't matter if I like Joffrey or not. Joffrey was a good component. But we're talking about whether or not the character is yeah, like yeah, no, that, she, that, she, she is a good component of like, the story. I get that, but do you, she, my question is, is, do you like the character? Yeah. Okay, you like her. I, I would say I don't. Uh, she's just. But, but I mean, not personally. She's a crazy, crazy person. Actually, the, the note that I wrote about down about her, because she has. Um, what, we, oh, what did I fucking. Down syndrome. Nickname? No, regret, was it? Oh. oh yeah. Oh, Margaret. Regret. So we Margaret, regret. Regret. so mild regret. <laughs> mild regret. Mild regret. Mild regret. Um, yeah, fucking mild regret. She's uh, getting into the moldy bread again, going, losing a fucking mind. <laughs> So yeah, so um, regardless of whichever characters you like or don't like, um, you know, and they're all relatively well established and well acted to whatever degree. Yeah, I'd say they're all got in-depth character analysis at um, this point. Well, one of my major things, and again, this, this sort of comes back to what I said a couple of episodes ago, you know, we're bringing everybody back and we're, we're, mm. we're dragging them all away from, from the event horizon, the exciting things that we were seeing them expanding. Um, <clears throat> one of the things is you were, we're having way, way, in my opinion, way too many round table political, you know, mm. discussion scenes with characters that basically wouldn't wouldn't be dealing with that, you know. Where you, you you have the round table and they're all together, and then you cut to uh, they're conniving and uh, doing this and they're conniving and doing that. 
And so, you know, again, like Bjorn, he's broad, right? He's not a fucking master. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so him sitting at the round table, you know, essentially doing politic, right? Doesn't really make much sense. But he's really all the god on that side, I guess, is like lag effect. But that's what I'm saying, right? Yeah. yeah. It, it ends up feeling that they did have a lot of those scenes as well. And so it ends up, in my mind, it ends up slowing down and getting bogged down. You know, mm -hmm. we, we um, so the beauty of the first couple of seasons is that um, while, while there was this political intrigue or, you know, um, Ragnar wanting to ascend the dominance hierarchy, yeah. Um, it wasn't. It, it didn't feel unnatural for him, and we weren't slowing everything down to to, to have that sort of in depth thing. The the only um, position that I would imagine this to make sense is if they were all 60, 70, 80 years old, like Wagatha mm. should be. Yeah. And they're all having their like they've got. We've got the new generations, and they're out doing this sort of thing. Yeah. And yeah, we've yeah, got yeah. all the old people trying to maintain the Sitting status quo. Talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. War, war is old people saying we're, young people to die. That, that yeah. should be what's happening in this scenario. Ha having mm. Lagatha, yeah. you know, who should be so like old lady. Did you see her at the end? Yeah, she, she, they, they, they did stop. Oh, yeah, 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 but, but, but it's too late. It's way too late for that. Yeah, yeah, like she should have been at the head of the table mm. with the crazy antlers in her hair, with the great hair, yeah, and the yeah, crazy yeah. makeup. Yeah, yeah, and like shit. ruling Old over the oh, the cat of yeah. like the paranoid, the yeah. paranoid. She, that would be great. Yeah, like, yeah, that would be great. Killing off like servants and slaves and shit. Yeah. Some like real busty slave walks by and she gets all weird and well, has to execute. Well, well so. having gone through the sort of shit that she does and most of those rulers would do, mm. right? Are like that sort of ascending that bloody ladder. Yeah, which is a well body, seasoned, well you'd, experienced. You'd lose your shit really yeah, yeah, quickly. Yeah. And that's the sort of thing that, that I would come to expect from a yeah. character. And, uh, I think she needs some facial tattoos. Well, she yeah. has literally anything. And everybody else is, was. as the season's gone on, they've developed more crazier and crazier tattoos. And crazier tattoos. And yeah, she just, yeah, does. She's got no facial yeah. tattoos. Yeah, well. True. The craziest tattoo that's ever been in the shop. Buffy. Buffy, the vampire slayer. Yeah. Please that's don't mention That's what I would equate it to. It's not Buffy. Sherlock. Well, it, it, yeah. It Lagatha is, is like Buffy. No, 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 no. The, the, <laughs> this this season is like Buffy. Um, I've never watched uh, Buffy, so I it's can't. A, you've got all these really all cool right. concepts and all this really cool shit happening, but we're just we're just. So the, the two of us had a it's very the, fucking okay, okay, okay. Yeah, you the, the, don't listen. The, the two of us had very different viewing experiences. Right. I watched every episode when it came out. I got incredibly high before <laughs> I watched each episode yeah, for the first yeah. time. It was fucking awesome. Rewatched him and it was awesome. You just watched like most of the season then, right? And I feel like a and lot we of the stuff around laughing at it you a just bit. completely missed talking about bitcoins and stuff. And like, wait, no. what? Why are the Franks here? What's going on? No, 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 no. Yeah, well, no, that, that happened. Uh, uh, but I we think, had no, two no, no. very so, different viewing experiences. So, yeah, yeah, I'll agree with that. that. Okay. But, 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 but to interject in that, if this had been the first season. Right, that I was viewing for the first time, I wouldn't have been talking over the top of it because it would have held my interest. Possibly, that's what I, that's that that would be my answer to that. It wasn't because I, it's not that I didn't enjoy the artistic style. No, no, you right? wanted to see the full battle. Well, yeah, yeah, that's what I just said. I, I think for me at this point, when you look at the grand scheme of all the seasons. You got a battle in the first season right. between the Saxons and the Vikings. Then um, season, beginning of season two, there was a mass battle between Rollo and Ragnar, another civil war. You had the raiding of Paris, which was about three episodes of battle. Yeah. Then you had season four, which was another big battle. I think at this point in time, I didn't need to see another battle. And I think Michael Hurst is getting tired of writing battles. We've, we've seen four or five- They've been very generous. Big episode battles. And for me, especially High, it was really refreshing to see these, that's like a completely different obscure take on what I expected. This is life. I'm not suggesting that it needed to be a traditional battle. Yeah. I just, it's, it's, I, I really don't like it when you've just got a bunch of dudes who just run at each other mm. and start hacking at each That's other. That's fine. Yeah, it was yeah, just, it was just, it was just shots, shots of 
characters having a, a mm. dialogue, and then shots of people hacking at each other, then shots of characters yeah, so having you, a dialogue. You didn't like it, and then shots did. of yeah, yeah, right, yeah. right. But, no, no, no. Well, you, well, it's it's all no, no, no. That, what? You didn't like it, and you did. It's, it's, right? it's, it's like it's like um, one of the really good things about a good action mm. film is that it tells a physical story through mm. the motion yeah. of cuts and things like that. Yeah. This okay, this did yeah. not tell a yeah. physical story you at all. You didn't like yeah, it yeah, yeah, and yeah. you did, right? Yeah. Um, again, I actually feel like I would fit half and half on that. Mm. So so again, you know, I was stoned too when I watched it. So um, I'm watching and I go, okay, this you know, um, uh, with Vitzo, right? That they had that really cool following shot with him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, and that and was really back cool. And he sees himself. On and the it, it was sort yeah. of, um, and all those pause moments where they'd empty the field, and they yeah. sort of, it's the um, Elysium moment from Gladiator, where yeah. they're walking through the wheat fields. That's fine. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Now, yeah. so, but the point where it falls down, and again, this comes back to whether how it is that you actually assess an episode like this, mm. right? Um, is I'll be watching and go, okay, I know what they're doing. Mm. Right, that we're doing an ethereal, like, atmospheric thing. Right, yeah. I get it, that's More fine. I'm, I'm on board, board with that, involved. but then I can't detach myself from thinking, hey, him standing there for even a couple of seconds idly, he's yeah. dead. Yeah. He yeah. died, you died. Well, you know, it's, it's like the scene where Uber is swinging at Vitzo, and I was thinking, that doesn't make any sense. The odds of them finding each other and then the, like, army separating around them and mm. allowing that amount of time to happen, makes no literal sense but then it, it like cuts even more into a more weirder obscure mm. version of that and i found it hard to analyze it like am yeah. i analyzing it in that way or am i analyzing it in this weird ethereal style i think i way? think i think that that um and you know you boil it down to whatever percentage i think x percentage of it of the execution of what they were trying to achieve was done well Right. Yeah, but, actually, but cinematography was good. But, but, yeah, but, yeah, but, I agree with that. But mm. by the virtue that you say something like that, or I say something like mm. that, it's like you know I'm finding it hard on which ground to analyze this episode. Yeah. Means that it wasn't that there was something inherently wrong to whatever degree yeah. with the execution. Oh, well, no, 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 no. I, I think as a viewer, I was perfectly fine with sitting down and watching it. It flowed. It was enjoyable. But to sit down and write points and analyze and break and yeah, down that's on what the we're doing. That's what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, We're talking about the execution of it. I yeah. know, but I don't think there's a problem in finding a way to analyse it because I think as a viewer, no. like the average Joe, it well, didn't break. Well, so well, I guess it broke you. No, no, no. no. Okay, so all, well, it, all I'm saying, you out all, all, I, yeah, all I'm trying to say is that I don't, I don't. It, it, what I'm trying to say, it's like you, right? There, 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 there was a percentage that they didn't handle correctly. Mm. The percentage that I believe they didn't handle correctly was that there was no linear, well not even so much linear, because it was an un, it was a non-linear... Mm. Which I really enjoyed. Yeah, yeah, which I don't have a problem with. But the, the point was that, the, that, that there was no story that they told, right? It was individual characters, but then we don't know what actually happened in the battle. We know one side lost and one side won, mm. but we don't know how that happened. Gather your things, we must leave Kat to get. We don't have long. Fundamentally, that on both a, a viewer level and an analysis level, to whatever degree, major or minor, right, something wasn't handled correctly in, in the execution. I don't know, because my first viewing, I was like, whoa, yeah, but, but, this but, is awesome. Yeah, yeah, you, and your I, first viewing, yeah. and my first viewing was, was a little, um, was a little, bit detracted but about the same as yours so yeah. i'm halfway between you and jasper mm, okay. and, and jasper's on the end so yeah, yeah, yeah. it's I not i am i don't know that i am yeah well no 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 you fair you you liked the 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 atmospheric thing that you did but you had problems it, it with the way it was that, that tone but yeah. you wanted to see more of the actual physical battle well i just which I, is fine yeah if you're going to show a battle right yeah. And one side's going to win the battle, and the other side's going to lose the battle. You would want to know from a military strategic standpoint. Well, no, show them happened. winning or losing the battle. I, I just want to, like, instead of being told after the fact, oh, we lost. Because yeah. it was announced as yeah. Bjorn walked into the longhouse, get your things, they're coming. Oh, well, actually. That's the, that's the first point they addressed that they had lost. I well, have, knew they were going to lose. Oh, no, 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 I disagree because um the, the point, so... um. There was only one point during the battle in which they actually showed um, 
one side winning or losing, and that was when the Saxons or the French, the French, yeah, Franks. that was yeah. the that was the they charged. That was that yeah, was yeah. an event that was in a the charge. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And I then agree. they lost. Yeah, yeah. But, but, but you're we didn't right. see them lose. It was announced. No, 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 no. You did, but you won't. No, we saw them charge. We didn't see them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, 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 we seen the whole field as Jason Argonaut style skeletons. <laughs> that had to give you some kind of inkling. No, 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 no,
fine. That's what it okay. is, yeah. I watched fucking 60s I, Doctor Who. Yeah, but do you expect that to be shit? Honestly, yeah, yeah. no, I expect Vikings to be of this quality. Okay. Um, I didn't actually notice any CGI, so I don't know. No, I just mean so, like there's, there's, the there's mass lots of shots. The mass battles. That's fine, I didn't, them, I didn't really, really pick up on it. I yeah. wasn't focusing on that. Yeah. So even if it is, um, yeah, again, it's it shuttles the bail and that's one of the things. Yeah. Well, like in this particular episode, it hurt me because it's like fifty percent of the episode was just just shots of dudes like hacking. That's fair up. enough. And it was crappy CGI. If you pick up on it and it's jarring enough yeah, for it, that, that, that's a yeah. fair criticism. Yeah. Yeah. So I've got I've got the one, well actually one of the the best probably um, bits to happen with this specific character and probably in this uh, in this episode is Margaret. Yeah. Right, go on loop. Yeah, yeah. Right, yeah, and, right. and talk and like uh, uh, diverting all her craziness towards to the, the kids. kids yeah. Right? yeah. Right, which is fucking damn funny. Yeah. So what what I would say what I would say firstly is I feel like that you know because they have multiple shots where all these people are standing around staring at her fucking going no your mother's gonna die blah 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 to these poor yeah little no, to no one took the kids yeah well yeah no one's no one's interfering yeah. no one's sort of like yeah well she walked into uh, like the I don't know like uh, a body of water. In the middle of Kattegat. A fjord. Um, yeah, go to Lost. Yes, that's what a fjord is. <laughs> I thought yeah, a fjord was a little stream. I thought a fjord was a it's fjord. A, it is, it is. Let's just I thought it was a type of mushroom. Just keep going. And, and like, carries out a log and drops it. Like, people would be looking at her like, what? Well, they were looking at her. Yeah, they were looking at her. So she's, she's sort of like one of the noble class. No, she was a slave and then yeah, but she's but, 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 married she, to she, one of Ragnar's sons. sons. So Did they get married? Yeah, 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 and, okay. and and she's living in the in like the main hall. Yeah, she's associated yeah, with and like she's the taking royal care family. of Bjorn Ironsides. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's she's like she's like one of the not the ruling class, but she's like the yeah like the higher up. She's in the yeah. higher up. I feel hierarchy. I feel like there should have been um that that while that's all true that there would have been at least another tier of uh, of people in the hierarchy left. As everybody else went to battle to be well, able to deal with a situation no, like that. She, no, well, from what we could see, she was literally the one that was left in charge of running the main hall at the center. Oh, of, she was oh, in the yeah, no, I, no, I, 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 I wouldn't, know, I wouldn't assume that. They didn't no. show any other thing, but I wouldn't assume that. Yeah. Well, who was? Who was? Well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's like off There's camera. A, it's like off camera Billy with a big mustache. No, 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 no that's not a character part. that's been established. We, no, we, it's off camera Billy. He runs Cadigan when they go to battle. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Wait, it's off camera, Billy. Hang on. Hang on. <laughs> hang on, that's what I was just saying, is it is unrealistic because it's right to yeah. assume that there would but be a... No, no, just they, didn't, they didn't, though. Do, they, do we need to cut to an account? In the no, 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 that's, that's no, I'm right. sorry, 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 if you let me finish, uh, that's not what I'm saying. I'm just pointing out that it would be right to assume that there is a... Yeah, no, I, I, no, I disagree. No, so, so, disagree with what, what was I about to say? You, you, we should assume that some, that a higher class was left there to, to, no. to manage things. No, that's not okay, what I was going to say. We would assume, right, that not the entire royal court went to battle. Okay, I am saying that we know the entire royal court we know all of these characters. They're all characters. They're all of Lagatha's entourage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, 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 but Lagatha and Astrid don't alone run the Great Hall. Yeah. There would be like 60 or 70 people. What, 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 what reason do we have to assume that? Because that's how towns work. Yeah. Prep stop at Hooper City, keep the back bar clean, keep the place looking pretty, tell jokes to the folks, keep the conversation waiting when you get right down to the nub and nitty gritty. Who's gonna run the prep stop at Hooper City when I'm gone? So, Floki is sacrificing himself. You don't care? No, it's funny. It is no, funny. Floki's an awesome character, but the story arc involves all these other shit characters. Well, so, uh, so, at this point, are you like out? You said something about you feel like this is the beginning of the degradation of the show, yeah, yeah. like Game of Thrones. Yeah, yeah, I think this is the downfall of the show. This is the show getting progressively yeah. worse. Uh, I thought, retrospectively, in comparison to last season, it was written just as well. I wasn't yeah, yeah, as I, engaged because uh, Travis uh, Fennell wasn't there. I would agree with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just as bad as the last season. Last season was awesome. Are you kidding me? The, the um, 
um, Ragnar's um, descent into drug addleness and being disenfranchised as a king and slipping out of society, and then the crippled old broken man coming back to murder himself with the establishment. Yeah, that yeah, was yeah, awesome. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That, 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 they that, were the, the best two you, seasons Ragnar, of the show. Ragnar, One, two, and three were just building to that point. Ragnar, no, 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 yeah, awesome. that, that, that's right. The, the good part about that whole season was Ragnar's arc. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, nothing else. That was the main arc. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get that, but, but what I'm saying is just like none of the I don't like any of the other characters. So you just said much. season four was crap. Well, I don't season think that it was any better was awesome. than, I don't I don't think this se- yeah, I don't think that it was any I don't think it was as good as the, the previous seasons, no. Yeah, so you, you see a downtrend. Yes, I see a downtrend. Um so what I would say is I would again fall halfway between both of you. Um and again Game of Thrones is a great comparison to this. What I notice and uh, I feel like you can pick up tidbits in the pacing and things like that and uh what uh, inexplicable things that we end up seeing our characters doing or where they are, right? Um is it feels like um, because we, we've still got so many layovers from uh, what I would consider the previous arc, right? Mm. The previous four seasons being an arc unto themselves, the Ragnar Lothbrok arc, yeah. right? And then the continuation, or the, at least the next one is the next generation taking over. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I would feel like that um, because of the amount of layover characters that we've got that are, I guess, starting new arcs themselves, but then we end up killing off a lot of them as well, right? Very quickly, honestly. Mm. Um, is that it's a, it feels like, uh, uh, yeah, they're trying to sort of um, rush to get people into a place to finish something off. Yeah. So that way we can we can move forward and... And, so that, and, and this, this is one of the problems. I agree with you. De- de- I, think, so I think that's this point. season, though. I think season two was better than season one. I think season three was better than season two. And then four and four part two better. I think it's slowly going up. And then no, season five... I reckon, I reckon you get up to season three. And then it starts to peter. How, all right, but but, but um, now it's, it now it's leveled but out. But that's just a difference uh, of opinion. Though. How long? Yeah. How many years has it been since you watched season one, two, and three? Um, when they aired, like five years ago, probably. Yeah, I think if you go back and rewatch the whole yeah. thing from beginning to end, maybe, maybe, maybe. One, but, 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 I, I think you hold one, two, and three in a, a high, glorious, um, rose possibly, rose glasses. Glasses. possibly. But yeah, I don't, I don't. I don't the, the, what I'm saying. Well, okay. Those, those shows, those mm. episodes resonated with me. Yeah, these ones that time and the place you're in and all the, that well, Yeah, I don't know that my position has changed that dramatically. Well, so so, that's fine. Um, it's a, just a difference of opinion. You would have to go back and reassess that to, to right. finish that point. Yeah, yeah. Um, I would say that I did actually try and go back and uh, try and rewatch the first season. I found that that I wasn't as um. It wasn't as good as maybe I remember. No, the first season is actually... Oh, no, well, when I first it's, seen it's, it, I was like, this is okay. Yeah. Then season two got better. But yeah, but by season four, with Ragnar took on those drugs, I was completely full. So, so let's just say that... Um, that um, yeah. Until you go... Know, until, I know, well, I well, the no, drug no. thing was all that... No, 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 but you would have to go back... No, well, it wasn't stuff. about the drugs. It was about um, the um, analytical aspect of a person being in power and how that's not satisfying. But the point, like, you hear a lot of celebrities talk about gaining their fame and then being disenfranchised. Yeah, and just... The, the character study of Ragnar and the position he was in was very interesting for me. And I thought very well executed. I feel so old. I was young, I had the passion to win, but now, with age and all that comes with it, I have lost the desire and the strength. So Rollo's back! What did we think? Oh, uh, well, just, yeah, nothing happened. He, well, he was on a boat. Well, so in my, uh, in my opinion, it would be the same thing that I've already discussed, is that, is that um, sure, it's cool to, to have the character come back, hmm. right? But again, we're, we're dra- like, how far? What is the distance between France and Scandinavia that we need to d- drag this old uh, lay, lay character from the previous arcs back into the fray? Does he need to come to Kattegat? You know, because they're just going to go back to where they were going, right? What do you, well, he hasn't been in the story for a long time. But that's what I'm saying. It, we're, we're, that would fall back into the thing where we're dragging everybody back but to the But the Battle of Kattegat is over now. The side is lost. Yeah, but now. he hasn't turned around and gone back. He's come to Kattegat. Yeah, yeah, he's coming to Kattegat. 
Yeah, yeah. So you have a problem with people traveling in the category. No, no, he's saying that we've got all these new characters, we've got all this stuff that we should be doing. We're, like, we should be moving forward with the new characters and, and doing something, but now we're, we're dragging back other characters. That was, and yeah. I think, yeah, largely it's because the new characters uh, uh, aren't as fleshed out, they're not as interesting, they're not as likable. I would have. That's 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 not what my well that's that's my yeah that's yeah. my I, I, I think you missed a lot in that to be honest no I don't think I did the Franks why have they got the Franks now I don't remember them saying anything about that there was you I, I do remember them saying about it you said Jasper look at this because <laughs> you well, they, well, I had to drag they, you away from a conversation to yeah, point out an yeah. important point in the show because you were so that unengaged was, that's with a valid it. thing yeah that's, that's, several that's, times that's a that's a that's a valid that's a valid point my my point is is that well. Had this been engaging, that wouldn't have been happening. It's been like 20 years. Rollo is the, the, the Duke of fucking Paris or something. Normandy, Normandy well, yeah. Right, he's yeah. been doing this for 20 years. <laughs> well, Things have changed. Well, when they rocked up to him last, he was like a hen pecked, broken down. 20 years ago. Was it 20 I don't know if years been ago? How, how, what's what's yeah, the time frame that we, Well, there isn't an established time yeah, frame. Yeah, it's been a very long time and that's what yeah, I but they, they went back in the um, very last season. When um, Bjorni and Vixerg were on the boat, they got him, and they went to um, um, that Arab place for the first time. I, I, okay, so yeah. well, I remember that the last that we saw of Rollo was him sitting on the throne of Paris. No, but we've seen him since then, and they came in and he was like henpecked by his wife, yeah, and he yeah. was broken down, and he talked about hearing the thunder and being called by Thor. Okay, and I don't his remember wife. that, that's fine. Yeah. Well, okay, well, so I, I still would... I, I, I'll admit that the, the Franks coming felt very rushed and poorly handled to me, but there is a little bit of character stuff for him to be coming back in. Oh, no, no, I agree. I agree. It's, um, I actually look forward to... Uh, he, he was left there for us to see him again. I totally agree with yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Right, but he was left there. That's what I'm, that, that, it falls yeah, back into my yeah, original yeah, criticism. Yeah, yeah. Well, 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 we wanted to see them try and take on Rolo. That was the whole point. Oh, he well, was maybe put, not, but Well, yeah. I, that's what I wanted. He was put there to defend Paris. So I'm um, just wrapping it up really quickly. Overall, what did you think of the episode? Good, bad, hated it, I mean, uninvested. Yeah, I feel like I've 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 criticised it extremely heavily. Mm. Uh, it wasn't like it wasn't an unenjoyable show. Mm. It's just it's not Game of Thrones. <laughs> it was it was better than the yeah, that's what I'm Game yeah. of Thrones. Yeah, yeah, it's not Game of Thrones. Um, but at the same time, like this is the season finale. This is half you know, season. Yeah, well, that's oh, what I was talking about. Half season. Season. Yeah. Oh, I thought this was the end yeah. of like the no. season. Yeah. So, 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 so this is like a middle half. Yeah, yeah. So, so okay, that changes my entire opinion. I was not aware of that. So either way, either way, my point, the point oh, that I was trying to say was, is that it's it was a, it wasn't an unenjoyable show to watch, but it just it, there was nothing special about it. Okay. There's nothing, nothing. There was nothing that made me go, oh, holy shit. Mm. Like, okay, they did some weird things with the ambience and, and cutting and, and, and clearing the battlefield and just having two people talking and stuff like that, which was interesting, but none of it was super engaging. None of it was like really like edgy your seat stuff. None it wasn't of it was... there will be blood. Yeah, it wasn't there. The Vikings was never there. No. Will be blood. No. Um, um, but I would actually ask just a quick question. Um, when, when you say that it's not as engaging and I would ask the same question of myself, um, I, I wonder very much whether it is because um, Vikings was very much unprecedented, I think, when it first came out, or at least it was very much pushing pushing what we can expect of From TV shows. From historical drama. Well, well just, just a lot of different things. Yeah. You know, where Game of Thrones pushed a lot of stuff forward, uh, you know, Vikings very much did the same sort of thing. Whether or not mm. we, we've sort of been become um, used to things that like that. Run. And, and whether, well, whether or not, whether or not, yeah, um, they're, they're sort of failing yeah, to, yeah. To, to, um, to escalate it higher. Mm. And it is actually about around about the same sort of thing. I think that would be an interesting question yeah, 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 yeah. So, so something to think about but yeah, I, 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 no, I agree with your point of escalation I think that's that was that's probably the key thing is that it's not 
it doesn't seem to be escalating in any way. Yeah. But yeah. they've tried to go in a different direction, like you said, a refreshing mm. direction of, of how to show battle uh, by doing this thing. And I, 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 don't, I don't think it worked. Yeah. Okay. That, that I, 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 I can't fault your opinion of we've well, seen all these battles, we've seen all these battles. Yeah. Like, yeah. That's, that's a valid. If, if, that's you, if you go back, we went before, yeah, yeah. before every new season, I watch one, three to five. And I, that's, that's too much. Yeah, I watch a lot of television. <laughs> People of Katikas, we have a great sacrifice. This is Lakata. Okay, yeah, for me, I'm still very much invested in all these characters in this story. I feel like this season is a dip from the last season, but I feel like from one to four, it's been building. The loss of Travis Fimmel, I think, early on, I'm like, no, they could do it. Mm. But then when I went back and talked about two parts of season four, it was all largely because of Travis Fimmel and, Ro and Ragnar. Mm. So, I'll, I'll watch the second half of this season, I'm the obviously still very invested and I like to see where it's going to go, I like the characters, but I don't know how long can they keep it going without Ragnar. Yeah, that's because there is no character that has replaced Ragnar on the level he was of engagement and entertainment. Well, I, I, and I think, well, for us, we are three white guys, and I think that the, the I, no, well, I think that the thing about Ragnar was the ultra masculine figure, right? That, yeah, that's why he yeah. was so engaged. Well, yeah, he, he, really he rises have, from yeah, nothing to the power. We really don't have that ultra masculine figure here. No. Rollo is an example of an ultra masculine figure from the previous. Yeah, well, boy, he's been him. on the same journey with Ragnar. Um, fucking King Harold could have been at that ultra masculine figure, but he's always so naive and, and he's a virgin. Yeah. I have no luck with women. <laughs> Again, I, I feel like I feel um, fit about halfway between these. You know, um, I'm still very much invested as you are. You know, mm. I. I, I I think, and again, a good comparison is Game of Thrones, where it's like you can um, you can definitely have dips where where maybe you're you're trying to juggle too many things and get things yeah. sorted so we can move forward. Yeah, you know? and I very much see um, very much see that it can be this can be a tipping point where it could yeah. it could continue to go up or it, mm. or it could very well, much go down. The good comparison would be Game of Thrones and Stargate. Game of Thrones went did 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 did. Whereas Stargate with its 10 season arc went did did and then like 7, 8 plateaued, it dipped down a bit, and then for 9 and 10 it came back up. Yeah. So it could crumble and fall like 9 11, cut to 9 11 now. Holy fuck! Oh my god! Yeah! Game of Thrones. Or maybe this is a bit of a plateau and it will pick up. You know, things like maybe some people, uh, the way that the battle was handled is not to their taste and some people it is. I feel like that, yeah, I'm um, trying something new. You can fall down with that and then that's not representative of the trajectory that we can expect to see from now on. Yeah. But that's neither here nor there. It's very much, um, very much the, 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 the next half will determine how we go from here. And, yeah, and I feel like it would be that. very noticeable if it is uh, going downhill from this point on. Yeah, I, I think it's a good point noticed. to make that the, the final half of this season will determine 9-11. I think I'm a little bit worried and I think maybe you're a little bit worried. But, but um, you've got to reserve until the next half of the season. Yeah, well, I, I, I'm yeah. still very much on board. I, I think I think that um, it's a pattern that most most shows. We'll see. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, thank you for watching. It would really help out if you guys would like, comment, subscribe. Don't, go fuck yourselves. Don't do it. Don't do Nobody it. Nobody watches don't this video anymore. Anyway. Also, we need to go address... Go fuck yourselves. We also need to address Alex brushing his teeth in the middle of the fucking lounge room while we're trying to watch Vikings. Because that was weird. I thought he was sucking like a pencil. Just it was weird. hygiene is weird. What? Well, yeah, in the middle of the lounge room while we're trying to watch a fucking show. Does that offend people? Seeing it's just odd. Like it was just odd. Uh, just I think odd. Jasper And he's talking about me constantly being distracted while he's brushing his teeth next to me. Don't, I no, know. that's a not a fair I, I, I think it's just you, I think Jasper. It's my third watch with I'm two late, pages. I need to leave.